Hall, everybody. Wow, there's a big crowd here tonight. I think I should have dressed a little bit better. Can somebody get me a new shirt? Oh, that's a little bit better. Okay, hello. Thank you. Parents are great. My dad had a profound influence on me as a child. He was a complete raving lunatic. <laughs> Thank you. When people tell you to dress for the job you want and not the job you have, it sounds like good advice, doesn't it? Trust me, you'll never get a job if you go to that interview dressed as Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> on my resume, I listed that I was extremely quick at math. During an interview, they called me on it and said, what's 14 times 31? And I quickly answered, 143. He said, that's not even close. And I responded, yeah, but you have to admit it was extremely quick. <laughs> he then said, okay, what would your friend say is your biggest weakness? And I told him, I don't have any. He replied, oh, come on, everybody has at least one weakness. And I said, oh, sorry, what I meant to say was I don't have any friends. <laughs> He seemed a little concerned, but he pushed on through the interview and he asked me to demonstrate my leadership skills. I said, okay, I'm hired, and I start tomorrow. <laughs> then he handed me his laptop, and he says, okay, I want you to try to sell this to me. I agreed, and I took the laptop and went home. Eventually, he called me and said, bring back my laptop. And I said, sure, 200 bucks, and it's yours. <laughs> Donald Trump once said in an interview that he, could, he would consider killing himself if he had Alzheimer's disease. The interviewer said, yeah, I know. You've already said that three or four times. Thank you.